14. I'm super excited that today we're doing an art lesson where we're going to draw a bunny for Easter. So before we get started, I want to remind you that since I'm not with you in class, I won't know what pace to move at with all of you since this is a video that you're watching at home on your own time. So I want to remind you that you can pause at any point. You can pause multiple times and you can catch up at your own page and then um, you can unpause and we'll keep going. So, but before we get started, I want to talk about some of these terms that you are gonna maybe hear me use in the video. So, depth. What is depth? So, when we are drawing, we want to make our drawing look like three-dimensional or that there is something closer to you and something farther away from you. So that goes along with these two next words that we're going to talk about, background. So in your drawing, your background is usually um, either at the top portion of your page or it might be in the middle portion, but um, it's going to be things that you draw a little bit smaller to make them look farther away like they are in the background. And then the foreground is usually at the bottom of your page, meaning that it's the closest thing to you. And you usually make things look bigger when they're in the foreground, because if you were taking a photo or, or something, or you're just standing in real life, the things that are closer to you look bigger and the things that are farther away look smaller. So your background is smaller and your foreground is bigger. Um, and that goes along with the word perspective. So um, how we see things, what perspective we're seeing them from. So right now you're seeing me closer to the camera and the whiteboard behind me is in the background and it's smaller. As I get closer to the camera, you see me bigger, right? So that's the perspective you're taking. And then one of the last ones we're going to go over is shading. So shading is, let's see if you had a circle. Right now, there's nothing in the circle, but I can start to shade either one side to make it look maybe like there's a shadow or a little bit more three-dimensional. I can shade fully. That's shading it in. Or I can just shade a little bit in the middle to make it look like maybe there's light or something on it. So those are different types of shading. And I realize maybe it's hard to see because of the lighting in my video. But those are different types of shading. So we'll do a little bit of that on our bunny you'll see in the video. So let's get started. So since we want this to have a little bit of depth, we are going to start with our background first. Um, so let's make a little hill with a tree trunk. So you can just sketch in that little hill. Do a basic little tree trunk, maybe some roots. And then you can just put a little bit of branches and leaves. Just really basic for now. So I'll make it a little bit darker so you can see it. Just a very basic tree with some branches. So that's going to be our background. And then the the bottom of your paper and what we're gonna see closest to us, that's called the foreground. So on the foreground, we're gonna make it look like we're very, very close to the grass. So if you wanna just sketch in some big grass, so it looks like we are maybe up close in the grass taking a picture of this rabbit. So then, and you can, we'll add a little bit more to 
the foreground and the background later. But let's start with our bunny. So we're going to start with the eye. So it's kind of like a teardrop shape. And then at the top, you're going to put a circle inside the eye. And then you're going to shade in, and that means just with lots of force on your pencil, you're going to shade in the eye and make it really dark. The darker the eye, the more character your bunny will have. It'll have more of a personality the darker you make the eyes because you'll be drawn to the eye. Okay, so you have your teardrop shape with your little circle in it that you're going to leave white. Now you need to make a little eyebrow. So above the side of the eye there, you're going to put a little eyebrow and maybe make it look a little bit more like an eyebrow by adding hair, just moving your pencil along. And then you're going to come around here, down below the eye, make another line that kind of looks like an eyebrow, but it, it goes underneath and it's just going to give the eye a little bit more shape. So don't make that one as dark. Just kind of fill it in like a little fluff, you know, because our rabbit has lots of fur. And then the next thing we're going to do after we have the eye, we're going to shape in the nose and the face. So you're going to kind of just start to the right of the eye, come down, and you're going to kind of make a little nose shape. And you're going to put a little nostril right there near his eye. I'll make that a little bit darker so you can see it. So it's just a little bit of a nose and a nostril. Now it's going to look silly at first, but once we finish the drawing, it'll look a lot better. Okay, so let's do one of the ears. So we're gonna come around here, and that one's gonna be a little bit of like a half ear because it's on the farther side of what we're seeing as the bunny. So after you do that one, you're going to come around here, make the second one a little bit longer and then kind of fill it in. So you can see there's one ear back there and another ear up here. And we're gonna give this ear some detail. So we're gonna draw a little bit of an, like an almond shape, like a, just a half little shape there. And we're just gonna use our pencil to kind of shade it. So just move it gently across your page in that little area. And see, it looks um, like a three-dimensional ear, because we use shading. Okay, so we have the two ears, and we have the eye and the nose. Let's finish the face. We're going to come down off of where the nostril is, and we're going to kind of curve around. And right now, we're just sketching out the little face. It's not perfect right now but it's gonna, you know, kind of come across and you can make some little marks. Do you hear my pencil doing that? That's gonna be like fur. So you can come around there and do that. And now you have the face. Now, what else we're gonna do right now for the face is we're gonna put in little dots where the whiskers are gonna come out of. So then you can, you can add as many or as few whiskers as you want. I'm going to add three just nice big whiskers. So they just quickly do that with your pencil. They're a little bit arched, kind of like a rainbow, but a little less arched than a rainbow. And you can't see the dots on the other side of the rabbit's face because that side is not facing us. But you might be able to see some whiskers coming off of it. So you could add a few on that side. Okay. And at any point, you can pause the video if you need to catch up. So, 
we have the face. I think next we're gonna come down here and we're gonna do the neck. So let's just sketch it out. And then you're gonna follow the back. So the back is gonna be a little bit curved upward, but the neck is right here and then curve, curve. And you can also at this time, you can kind of make it look like fur just by making different lines. Do you see that? So we have a little neck and arched back. Okay, and we're gonna draw, actually we'll do our, our tail last because I think that's really fun and we'll save it for last. So we gotta do the other side of this rabbit's neck. So you're gonna just put a little line there and then the paws get a little bit tricky. So the first one, we're gonna come around here and we're gonna make it almost like he has three little toes on that paw. Okay, and then we're gonna continue on just a, a very small amount away from the other one. We'll do the second paw up front. Okay, so this one's gonna have more of an arm coming into the body, so you can draw a little arch here and then you can continue down like you did with the other paw and you're gonna make those three fingers again and you can come right back up into the body so this one has the arm shape and the same kind of fingers there so like three little indents in the paw. Okay, now we gotta finish the underside of this bunny's body. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, it's kind of a more of a flat shape. So it kind of goes with the paper there and you just kind of cross over. Not too far, but we can also shape in a little bit of a circle right here because this is gonna be the bunny's hind leg, which means the, the leg in the back of the bunny's body. So you can kind of put a little half circle there. And then just like you did with the other paws, you're gonna make another paw with about three of those little indents. And then you can come back up, but don't connect all the way with the top part that you did here because we're gonna make room for the tail and we don't want it to look like the tail is separate from the whole body, so we gotta leave an opening here. So then you can, you can gently circle in your circle for the bunny. And the reason I'm doing it so gently at first is so that when I go back over it, I can Kind of make it look like fur and not so round. Just nice and bushy looking. Just like a rabbit would have, right? Okay, so now we have the basic shape of our rabbit all in there. What we want to do is we want to kind of add some texture to our rabbit. So I'm going to come over here and add just some little ripples and fur and just make it look a little more friendly, right? And we're gonna come over here and we're gonna add a little bit to the ears. You can add some fur. And you can go over those lines that you made initially. If you wanna make it look a little more furry. Just so he doesn't look so his lines aren't so straight because this guy's got a lot of fur on him. So just add little details, kind of like a, here I'll, I'll draw up here so you can see, just a, those little triangle shapes back and forth. Or you can just do lines, it's up to you. Just give it a little bit of shape and don't be afraid to make those lines dark now since we've already 
put in the major pieces. Now we're going back and we're darkening those lines up. And don't forget to make those whiskers nice and dark. And the ones on the other side, maybe not so dark because these ones are closer to you, so you're gonna see them more. And the ones on the other side of the bunny's face, you're gonna see less because it's not facing you. And you can, you know, add a little bit of shading to his nose. And you can take your finger and move it along those little etches that you just did with your pencil, and it kind of shades it, gives it some dimension. Okay, so let's pay attention now to our background. So we made the background over here with the tree look smaller because it's farther away from what we're seeing in this picture. And remember we made our grass nice and tall as if we were sitting in the grass with our camera and taking a photo of the bunny. So the grass is nice and big and the bunny is a little bit smaller in proportion to the grass. But let's say we can add some grass back here that's maybe a little bit smaller because we're over here taking the photo of the bunny. So the grass that's over here is a little bit smaller than what we see right here. And you can add grass in wherever you'd like and Let's finish our line in the background there to kind of show where this ends back there. And then this would be the sky. And you can add a sun if you'd like, or since we're on the ground, it might not make sense if you add a sun because you wouldn't necessarily see it unless it was maybe the sun was setting and it's very low in the sky then you could add the sun setting. Um, but I think that you can be creative with your background and decide what you want to include or not include. So I'm just gonna do some grass, patches of grass. And then if you wanna shade in this big grass, you can do that. And I'm not gonna color mine, but I think you guys can use colored pencils or markers or crayons and you can color however you'd like. You can make it a gray bunny, a black bunny, a brown bunny, a white bunny. Um, yeah, it's really up to you. So that's the basic things you need to make a bunny. And what I'm gonna do, since it is almost Easter, I'm gonna write, I'm gonna do a kind of funny thing and I'm gonna write Hoppy Easter because it's a bunny, right? It's a play on words. Hoppy Easter. And if you can't see that, Hoppy is H-O-P-P-Y and Easter is capital E. And I did all mine in capital, but you don't have to. But since Easter is a holiday, it's capitalized, capital E, A-S-T-E-R. So you can write that on there, Hoppy Easter. You could write it down here if you wanted. Um, and I think it's, it might also be cute if you make the O inside Hoppy look like a little Easter egg. So you can draw some little doodles on it, maybe some polka dots and squiggly lines make it look like a nice little Easter egg. And then you have your drawing, your bunny, your background, your foreground, and your happy Easter. So I hope that you really enjoyed this drawing because I love to draw and I'm so happy that I can share it with you guys. Um, so I'm gonna set up either a Google Classroom post or maybe a Flipgrid and we can share all of our drawings. So after you guys do this drawing, you can share it and we can kind of look at everyone's in the class and 
say what we like about ours, what we found challenging, what we like about other people's. Um, so I think it's just gonna be a good way for us to connect even though we are all at home. Um, but I cannot wait to see your bunnies and I hope you have a very, very happy Easter. Bye guys. Thank you.